Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Bloons Monkey City Beta. So this episode's gonna be kinda short, um, because I'm recording this on Wednesday and I wanna get it up on Wednesday. Um and the reason why I'm only recording it on Wednesday, meaning like why I'm recording it so late and everything, um is a couple of reasons that I'll mention in this video. But first, let's check out uh, Enter Pacifist Mode. Yes, Enter Pacifist Mode, and I'll explain why in another minute. But, um, let's see. I already have full Bloontonium. I can't spend it on anything. Uh, so let's go here. Why not? And uh, let's get this started because uh, right now I'm going to try to do all the lead balloon tiles. I might be able to finish it all in like 10 or 15 minutes or it might end up taking another episode or something. But um, the reason I haven't really been recording, uh, well because last week um, there's various reasons and I already explained that but then this week uh, my brother is getting married this weekend and that kind of means I'm probably going to be busy or something. Um, I don't actually know what exactly I'm gonna be doing uh, if I'm gonna be doing anything it's just that um, a lot of like tables and chairs and stuff need setting up uh, so I'm probably gonna end up having uh, to help out with that and that's gonna take up time which I mean it's not really that gonna be that much time um, if anything after this week I should probably get back to a normal schedule um, I'm gonna try to finish uploading every day this week but uh, next week again I don't know how stable or reliable it'll be but obviously I'm gonna try to uh, record and post and everything but uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays videos um, basically so yesterday's and tomorrow's videos for you um, they're they're already fine uh, I've already got them recorded uh, I just need to actually edit and upload the uh, Thursday videos, but that shouldn't really take that long. Um, although, because they are all 23 minutes, then that does mean that it's going to take a while. It's going to take like at least an hour each. Like, an hour each for editing, I guess. Uh, not necessarily because it takes long to do the actual editing, but then all the saving or rendering or whatever it's called, uh, that's going to take a while. It's going to take like three or four hours to actually upload it because of how slow my internet is. Uh, and that's each, so it's like 12 hours, so I should probably start doing that as soon as I can um, once I'm done uploading these, which is why I'm keeping it so short because it usually takes like three or four times the length of the video to actually upload the video. Sometimes it changes, but generally it's about that. Uh, so if I keep it about 10 minutes, then that's about 20 minutes of actual rendering, so that's about 30 minutes there, and then about uh, 40 minutes maybe, uh, if not an hour, for, for uploading. And then um, I'm only recording Bloom Monkey City and Bloom Star Defense Battles right now because I've already got some Bloom Two Monkey 2 videos uh, recorded, um, and I'm not sure why I always record that series uh, differently than I do these series. Uh, I just record it like all at once on the same day, and then I get so many videos like ready to upload and edit and everything. But then it's like, why, why am I doing that so early? <laughs> I have no idea. But um, anyways. Let's see. So, get Red Hot Rings on the Glaive Ricochet because there are lead balloons on this map, so that's something I need to take care of. But, uh, oops, no, I didn't mean to do that. I misclicked. Oh well. Uh, it's not that big a deal. Just a couple, um, balloon stones. Uh, it just costs five balloon stones, I think. And, uh, oh yeah, there's another reason why I haven't really been recording. Um, it's kind of a bad reason. Not really that great. Um, but anyways, basically, uh, if you're familiar with League of Legends, uh, for April Fool's Day, uh, Riot announced this new game mode uh, called Ultra Rapid Fire mode, and basically you have zero mana, or not necessarily that you have zero mana, there's no mana cost, so all of your abilities don't cost any mana or whatever resource you use. Um, they have 80% cooldown reduction, which means that if it normally takes like 10 seconds to use an ability, like in between abilities, then now it only takes 2 seconds. Um, if it only took 1 second, then now it takes 0.2 seconds, which is amazing. Um, and then the range, <coughs> excuse me, uh, and then the range champions uh, get double the bonus from attack speed bonuses. Um, and then there's a couple other changes that just makes it really awesome, and uh, obviously that would make a couple of champions, in particular like Ryze and Cassidin, like super amazing, so they sort of banned them from that mode, which I thought was kind of funny when they said it in the video, but um, at first a lot of people thought that it was just a joke and didn't even bother checking, uh, but I pretty much logged on as fast as I could once I saw that because I just really wanted to play it and it was a real thing. like. Um, 
they meant it as just like, oh, haha, April Fools will throw in this mode just for fun for this week. But I seriously love that mode so much. Like, you have no idea. It's just so amazing. And when it first started out, it was like, oh, this is hilarious. We're all using our abilities super fast, and no one really cares about winning or losing. It's just kind of fun to be able to do all this. But then, pretty quickly, people started taking it a lot more seriously and figured out which champions were the best to use and like what best strategies or whatever. Basically, uh, I've heard other people say it, but I'm not 100% sure what exactly what it means. Um, basically, the game they built their own meta for the game, whatever that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but um. Uh, let's get that started. Uh, let's see about this. Uh, just bleh. Alright, anyways. <laughs> I was just checking to see what other um, upgrades I could get. But nothing really. Um, but anyways, so people started taking the game a lot more seriously uh, in that mode. And it got kind of difficult to keep up. But then I found like my secret weapon character that I kind of don't want to say who it is. Because I don't want anyone to ban it. <laughs> or start banning it just because they know that I play it. It's really awesome. But, um... Anyways, uh, so then I started getting really good with my one character, and I thought this is amazing. Like, I love this game now because I've had so much, so many moments of like awesome plays being happening where I'm quickly using all my abilities and trying to avoid attacks and like this awesome battle where sometimes it'd be awesome even if I lost, but a lot of times it'd be awesome because I could totally dominate sometimes. But um, it was just so much fun in that new mode, and. Uh, so many people were like petitioning in the comments and forums and everything saying that, like no right we need to keep this mode it's so amazing blah blah and uh, they've extended the duration but I don't think they're gonna keep it uh, which is really sad because I just love the game so much but um, but I've been playing that pretty much non-stop <laughs> uh, which is kind of why I haven't really been recording and posting and stuff uh, which like I said not a very good reason but um, it's just I really really love ultra rapid fire mode and I would record um, some of it and like show you guys just because I think it's awesome. But uh, my game runs kind of slow already. I have it on like the lowest graphic setting and everything. So uh, if I was recording it, I would definitely lose any competitive edge <laughs> that I have um, just because it would start going even slower and uh, lower frame rates and all that. And because it's ultra rapid fire mode, you have to be like on your feet, like or not on your feet, but um, you have to be. Uh, on your A game, I guess, or bring your A game. Um, so it'd be pretty difficult uh, to be able to do well while recording it just because of all that. Uh, plus, talking while I'm doing it isn't really great, which I, I guess I could record the commentary afterward, but that's not as fun. Um, so, anyway, so that's basically why I haven't really been recording uh, this week. Uh, last week, kind of the same thing, because it was uh, Ultra Raptor Fire did start last week, but um, for that, it was a slightly different reason. Uh, but anyways, uh, it's funny because in Hearthstone, uh, if any of you watch that series, um, I sort of put together a new deck at the end of last episode, or at the end of Thursday's episode. Um, at least I think I did. It was sometime one of these two episodes. Oh, wait, shoot, I forgot about that. Um, let's get these in here. There we go. So that costs a lot of bloomstones because I totally forgot that there was lead bones in here. Um, but anyways, uh, get Red Hot Rings, and then now those lead balloons are not a problem anymore. So, yeah. Alright, I'll just upgrade this boomerang door. But, um, as I was saying, in Hearthstone I had just built a new deck uh, to work with and everything, and I think it's a pretty good deck. But then sometime this week I just started thinking about it, and then I realized like how much better my deck could be, or at least... I I think how much better it could be, uh, and then I wanted to play it and do stuff, but then I hadn't even uploaded Thursday's videos, or I don't think I had even uploaded Tuesday's videos at the time I was thinking that, so uh, definitely gotta wait <laughs> until I can uh, actually upload those videos, um, or at least until I have uploaded those videos before I start playing it again, but um, yeah, I did see someone in the comments, of, well I guess I should talk about this on Hearthstone, not on Blue Twin City, but um, just a reminder to anyone. Uh, I, I do play other games <laughs> other than um, uh, other than Bloons types games on uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, or other than the games I play on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I also post videos on Tuesday, Thursday for uh, Race the Sun, Search and Simulator, and uh, Hearthstone. So if you haven't already, that'd be nice if you could check that out. And I, I feel like if I say that, it sounds like just a, oh, you're marketing yourself and blah, blah. Sort of, yeah, 
but also just because you might enjoy it if you enjoy these videos, because it's still me commentating, so I mean, it's still something you might enjoy for some reason, but it's a different game. Um, so I'm not really sure why I built the missile launcher, it was just kind of for fun, because I wanted extra lead popping stuff and all that, but uh, anyways, now that little red thing, that little red one, uh, is just letting me know that now I've got a new track that I can replay. But I don't really want to replay tracks on screen. I think I might have said that I was going to at one point, but um, not yet. Um, so just two more lead layer levels. Uh, might as well. Uh, might as well do it now since um, it's only been about 11 minutes. Although every minute that I spent here is like an extra five minutes. Um, an extra five minutes for actual like editing and uploading. But anyways. Uh, let's get this one in here, get it, uh, lead popping ability, and then I'll just wait for a glaive ricochet, and of course <laughs> there's some camo balloons, uh, right at the beginning first wave, uh, so I'm just gonna throw in a ninja monkey, and that should help, and, um, oh man, I just remembered something, the, uh, Nintendo Direct, the Super Smash Brothers Nintendo Direct, if any of you care about Super Smash Brothers, which I would hope all of you care about Super Smash Brothers, because it's pretty much the best fighting game ever, if not one of the best games ever, um, or at least one of the best series, game series, uh, it's, it looks so amazing because there's, um, if you don't know what a Nintendo Direct is, it's basically like, it's, mm, it's sort of like an E3 conference, but just for Nintendo and much shorter, and it's online so they can just show you, hey, here's this really cool stuff, now here's some more really cool stuff, now here's some announcements about this thing, and we're done, rather than the way E3 is like a whole bunch of, like, talking to businessmen, they're just, the Nintendo Direct is them talking directly to you, type of thing, so, yeah, that's nice, but, um, yesterday's Nintendo Direct was all about Super Smash Brothers, so it was basically 39 minutes of just pure Super Smash Brothers announcements and videos and discussions and all that, and it was just so amazing, like, what they announced and revealed and everything, and especially, just stay to the end if you're watching it, if you need to watch it, I don't want to spoil it or anything, but... Uh, if you you can still look it up on the Nintendo website or something, uh, either on like the Nintendo.com or the Super Smash Brothers.com or maybe uh, the YouTube page for Super Smash Brothers. Uh, it's just really amazing, and I think you should check it out. Um, so yeah, now uh, if I do get a job, but well, no, okay, I was gonna say if I do get a job, then I'm gonna buy all this stuff. But no, I have student loans to pay off. Um, I'll still put away some money for myself each month, but definitely not that much. Um, especially not that much compared to how much I'm going to have to put away for actual student loans. Uh, which, again, I feel like that's stuff that I probably shouldn't be talking about on the camera, but I mean, I feel like this, like, I'm not hiding anything, I guess, from you guys. It's just, I don't know, seems kind of weird. Um, do you, see, because <laughs> uh, uh, someone mentioned on one video, like, how do I have, like, 300 subscribers, but then only, like, 10 people subscribe, or er, 10 people, uh, comment, and, uh, I was like, yeah, I know, right? It just seems funny to me. Like, I'm not trying to, like, guilt you into commenting, it's just, it seems funny that I have so many subscribers and then so few comments on a lot of my videos, um, which I'm sure is fine, because I don't comment on every video I watch, but, um, I don't know, like I said, it just seems funny. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's see. I was thinking about doing something for uh, like a 400 subscriber video, but I'm not sure what. Um, I was kind of expecting to get a new editing software somewhat soon, but um, that extra editing software would uh, help me be able to make better videos, I guess. But um, not really sure when I'm going to get the software, I guess. So um, not really sure what kind of videos I would be able to make for the 400 episode. That would be something so amazing. Um, also, uh, I'm gonna be, well, eh, eh, I can talk about that some other time, but, uh, so yeah, do you guys have any ideas for what I should do for a 400 subscriber video whenever I get to that 400 subscriber point, uh, or the 500 subscriber, like, if I just skip 400 and just go to 500 or something, I'd like to do something for, like, every 100 up until I get to, like, a thousand subscribers, uh, and then, like, every 250 or, like, every 500 or something like that. Uh, you know, just like the big numbers or something, um, and I'd like to eventually, when I have like 50,000 subscribers or something, I'd like to have some kind of monthly giveaway, um, just to give back to the fans that have supported me for so long and everything, um, 
which I kind of feel like it'd be kind of cool to have some kind of like super secret code or something to have us know about or something so that like uh, just to show like how dedicated you are I guess like how big of a fan or something um, and I had plenty of money I could have built another uh, camera detecting thing to finish those off but not a big deal I suppose um, just get a bit more cash I feel like I should be able to buy something uh, research building ah uh, stop that um, not research. Uh, let's see. This one. I need a lead propulsion lab. So, monkey versus monkey. Uh, lead propulsion lab. Lead propulsion lab. Here it is. Uh, it takes 90 minutes to, to build. That's going to say to upload, not to, not to upload. Um, let's see. What other resource buildings can I get? Another water mill. Why not? Since I've got so many. Uh, Alright, so. This is going to be the last track of the day. So I might as well use all of my supply crates, which, uh, again, um, I, I didn't check if anyone else uh, added me um, in between recording this episode and the last episode. Uh, so if you did, I'll probably check like right after recording this episode um, to actually add you as a friend, and then uh, I'll send out crates. Maybe, yeah, I'll send out crates after that, um, so I can send it to any new people that might have joined. Um, if you don't know how to add me as a friend, or if you don't know why you should add me as a friend um, on Ninja Kiwi, then uh, ask in the comments, and then hopefully someone in the comments can go back and read that and answer your question, uh, rather than have me have to explain it. So, uh, let's get this bomb tower up here, or bomb shooter, I suppose. Which, I don't know, I, always, I feel like it's a bomb tower, just because it's a tower defense game, but its, it's name is a bomb shooter, so I can't really call it a bomb tower. Unless there's some upgrade in it that makes it a bomb tower, because there's a missile launcher, or a missile shooter probably, or something like that, but I don't think there's actually a bomb tower um, upgrade. Which is kind of interesting to me, but um, anyways, uh, there's this thing that um, I wish I remembered to get a link for, it, but I'm probably not going to remember to get a link for it. There's a... Uh, there's this Kickstarter for a game called Flying Hamster 2, I think, or Flying Hamster Night 2 or something like that, um, where basically you play as a hamster that can sort of fly, and he's this knight that goes on some adventure and stuff, and it, it sounds pretty basic, but um, I, like I said, I saw some Kickstarter video for it, and it looks like a really good game. Um, obviously, when I say it's a Kickstarter, it means that you have to um, help donate money to... Uh, to make it a real thing, <laughs> to fund it, basically, and uh, it looks totally worth all of my money, but I, I probably shouldn't uh, spend all of my money, and that little beep you heard was uh, my phone, but um, yeah, so anyways, uh, this is actually turning into a long video when I wanted to keep, when I, when I wanted to keep it short, um, so that's nice, I suppose, but uh, actually, wait a minute. Uh, I just realized, I think this is a camo lead level, which means that I need some camo lead detection. So I should get this spike factory out. Not sure why it took so long to realize that, but, um... Ah, why does my nose always get stuffy whenever I'm doing a let's play? Like, whenever I'm talking for long periods of time? Um, do any of you know why my nose gets stuffy? Because <laughs> that'd be interesting to know about. Um, and I'm actually just going to sell this bomb shooter. Uh, in order to get the white hot spikes, and I kind of want to sell the ninja just to get the other upgrades, but I suppose I'll keep it because um, it is pretty awesome. But um, the flying hamster two thing, I totally wanted to spend like all of my money on it, but obviously it's not a good idea to spend all of my money on it. But I would like to let all of you know that there's this really awesome game that I'd actually probably enjoy doing a let's play of once it actually came out. Um, that I think you should all check out. So. I'm pretty sure you could probably just Google or YouTube search um, Flying Hamster Night 2 or something like that, or uh, go on Kickstarter and maybe look that up. Um, I should probably get a link for you guys, but uh, I don't know how I would even find it, which I mean, I guess I would just do the same thing that I'm telling you guys to do, and oh man, I lost much lives. Uh, not a big deal, but um, it's just throwing a dart monkey, because they're really good in Bloom's Monkey City, and they're really not good in Bloom's Star Defense Battles. Uh, I saw a comment uh, from someone, I think it was like on my fourth episode of Bloom's Town Defense Battles, for some reason they were commenting on it recently, and uh, they said something about um, that I should upgrade the Dart Monkey because they're really awesome. I was like, eh, no, no they're not, and uh, I'm just going to sell the Ninja Monkey now and get some missile launchers, um, 
or bomb shooters or whatever you want to call it, um, just because of uh, all the lead that was appearing, and it was free grow lead, not camo lead, so I really didn't even need the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, spike factory, but yeah, it's alright. And of course there's some zebras now, which uh, are immune to the explosive power of the missile launcher, which is still technically a bomb shooter, um, for some reason, but uh, yeah, anyways, uh, let's see what is worth mentioning while I'm mentioning up this episode, um, which again, it ended up being another 23 minutes even though I wanted to keep it short, um, which is fine I suppose, it's just going to take a while, it's going to be up late, possibly even tomorrow just because of how long it's going to take. So. In the next episode, I'm going to be taking on these rainbow camo balloon levels, uh, or regrow uh, rainbows, but um, that's going to be a while. <clears throat> Man, I'm trying to stop myself from burping. But, um, alright, so there's going to be a bunch of rainbows and ceramics and stuff uh, coming up, which is going to be pretty difficult, considering all the towers that they have right now. Uh, so in that case, while I'm uh, waiting... Uh, can I, that's an upgrade building. Why, why did I change the thing? Um, gonna be building some ninja monkey buildings because those are really good. I really enjoy ninja monkeys. Um, even if they don't have all the upgrades for them yet. So let's get a couple more ninja monkeys. Um, as long as I can. Probably just one more because that's all I can fit on this side. And uh, I still want to keep all of my like base buildings over on the right side if not like the top right side. And then I'm gonna move all my monkey banks and stuff and um, banana farms uh, down here. So anyways, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. Uh, oh wait, um, I'll give out my uh, my crates here. So I think I did the top three last time, so I'm going to do the bottom three, and Redadex gets two apparently. Um, so yeah, it, it doesn't make a huge difference, I guess, at least in my opinion. Um, but anyways, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.